long now, Pa? How many more days? We ain't much more than started. Is there troublemakers around here, too? Don't you fret about that Fromes family, son. We're not really running from them. Are we, Pa? Us? We're traipsing along like natural men. We got other things to do besides fighting Froneses. We gotta get to Texas. I can't hardly wait. Are you certain sure we won't stay long in humility? Long enough to say howdy do to your Uncle Zach and Aunt Sophie. Could I count the money again? You sure there's enough? Certain sure. Enough of a steamboat with a mite left over for seed. Ten and ten is twenty, and twenty more is forty. Old Pharaoh's getting hot. Just listen to him sing. What's twenty under one hundred and fifteen? One hundred and thirty-five. Hush, boy. Pharaoh's making music. Box doubled up. Same as before, Pot. Two hundred and fifteen. You expecting it to multiply? Give it here. We'll blow the dog in. Let me try it again, Pa. Time you can blow it, I figure you'll be growed up. Sure he did. Old Gabriel himself will want to borrow this horn when he blows for judgment day. You better lie down now. Your ma up yonder will be asking why I don't bid you down. But won't you tell me something more about Texas? Well, it's a place for the likes of us. No people there much. No neighbors to crowd you. Only wild game to see and to shoot at. And when you take a breath, it's got a clean taste to it. Like nobody ain't ever used it before. Man, oh man. Smart music, Pharaoh. That's the way Texas is, they say, and that's the way for us. It ain't we don't like people. We like room more. Room to stretch you. Room to see and hunt. And where you set your foot, no foot's been set before. That's what ails Kentucky now. Man can't hardly move without he nudges up again a neighbor. I wish I was an apple hanging on a tree. And every day my love would take a big bite out of me, a big bite out of me. You 
that. Call your daughter. He didn't start it. Good mind to put you under arrest. Resistance an officer, assault and battery, and breach the peace. It's ready. They can come and eat now, Mr. Decker. Can't you wait a minute? What are you doing here in Pride, though? Passing through. Let's have your name. Elias Wakefield. Some of you Wakefields just killed Mose Frohms over east. Want me? No. Then you won't mind lying in jail whilst we find out. You coming peaceable? I ain't coming at all. Get a minute, I'm deputizing you. <laughs> you to eat. I bet he will eat. We was going to Texas. Texas now? That's a far piece. So far I can't think it's there. I bet it's nice. There's buffalo. Sure enough, buffalo? A galore. And deer, too. And foxes be a hound? More varmints than you can shake a stick at. And I swear. Me mm, too. The air has a clean taste to it. And the people don't crowd you. No barn girls there, I reckon. No what they call indentures. No lone woman either. What, Hannah? Nothing. I was just dreaming. I was free once. I've heard the hounds are making music and the horn to blow him in. And you know that no one was on hill or holler but some free wild thing. That's Texas. Now you eat. Stop poking, will you, and get the food on? Who said you could feed him? He's just a boy. Talk back when your time is up. You seem to forget you're still bound out to me. I'll get them vittles in there. Now you eat. As soon as we can, we'll take a plate to your pot. Give him a drink on me. Where's he at? Glad you showed up, boys. Mighty glad. I almost knowed your old granddaddy. Him that got killed first and so set the two families a feudin'. Cry, ye young'uns, cry, sweethearts, when the feudin' shootin' starts. And weep, ye widders, in lone homes, when a Wakefield beats a throne. <laughs> He asked why he was at. Oh, he's here all right. I got him safe and sound. 
It's your chance to get even. You got him in the jailhouse, huh? Else, where'd you have him? Oh, you can't touch him there, boys. Honest. Well, the law would know you've done it, and you couldn't say self-defense. And you got to think of my position. Let's not push, boys. Let's have a drink. Let's, let's have a drink and talk. Obliged for the victuals, miss, and for tending to my boy. You rest easy, little Eli. We won't miss that boat. Pa. Well? Uh, her name's Hannah, Pa. Oh. Pa, could an old woman go to Texas? I reckon. She was a man enough to stand it. Why? I mean, her. With us. No. We was just talking outlandish. I'm not saying anything against you, miss, but he forgets about... Oh, I, I couldn't get away even if I wanted to. Being as we are friends... Being as we are... Well, Constable's pay is mighty small. It's pay he wants. Oh, just a little something, maybe, between friends? Just let him out, friend. Or we can wait, friend, for that jail door to open. We're good at waiting. For a Wakefield. at all. I've done him my last favor. Won't buy a drink, won't buy a bed. Just wait. again, Wakefield, and this time not for nothing. For what for? For enticing the female indenture away from her master. She didn't entice me. I came on my own free will. That's for the law court. I'll teach you to be so high-headed. You thought you were so smart, Wakefield. Ah, but it was me that was smart. I knew the dog would tell you. Even them Fromeses didn't think of that. Fromeses? They was after you. I didn't let on. I, I was afraid you'd set yourself to fight him. Now, come on, all of you. Now, hold on a minute. Stand back. There's something a man can do about this? Sure. If you had more than a buckeye in your pocket, you could buy a free. How much would it come to? Higher than you ever counted. Two hundred dollars. And my cost, too. Now move. Oh, that's our Texas money. 
I'll go back. I'll work hard. You keep your Texas money, Eli. Son, you've got a proper say in this. I don't want her to go back to him. Do you stand with me? I stand with you. Seems like all I want to do is to leave things behind. We'll stay the night here. so we'll all be safe. Safe for sure. The mountain people like the Frooms is stick close to their own briar patch. Galls me some, though, to think I run. I wouldn't call it running. Even leaving Texas out. You ain't got much, little Eli. Just Pharaoh and me. Been happen often all his life, which is why I made tracks. I couldn't stand to think of your home. You're a good man, Eli Wakefield. Don't let anything come between. your Uncle Zach. I'll find out where your Uncle Zach lives. wanted to ask you. Anything you want can wait. Again, 
but could you tell me where Zach Wakefield lives? That your wife? No. You looking for work? Wakefield doesn't hire any women. I could use one here, though, and over at my still house. She don't want no work. I asked you a civil question. You going to tell me where Zach Wakefield lives? Wakefield's a particular man. <laughs> no use asking here. Thank you kindly, sir. Second place north on the left, if he'll let you in. <laughs> Zach, we got here. Elias! Well, praise the Lord. You're a sight for sore eyes. Is this your young'un? Uh -huh. There's three of us. There's three of you. Well, come on in. Sophie! Elias is here! Give me shakes! <laughs> you wouldn't remember your Uncle Zach, little Eli. Shake hands with Uncle Zach. How are you, boy? Uh, this here's Hannah. I do, Beth. How do you do? We brought something for you. Oh? For your innards. Oh, that's nice. Mighty nice. But you got no business spending your money on fancies. <laughs> well, take off your dirt. Sit down, y'all. Well, Elias. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and here's little Eli. Oh! Almost. <laughs> that hair's pretty enough for a girl. You must have lost your shears, you and your paw bone. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Hannah, Sophie. Uh, hello. Hello. Hannah? She come with us. Oh. I didn't get the last name. Hannah Bolden. Pa bought her free with our Texas money. It cost $200. A bound girl? We're all going to Texas. I see. You got to take things for what they are. Pity you didn't train that hound, little Eli. He didn't need no training. He was natural born smarter than any fox. Warn he, Pa? Get down, Pharaoh. Here. Yeah. Hannah and little Eli are plumb wore out. Now, can you bed them down or can't you? Why, now, take it easy, Eli. Don't get your dander up. We have a nice cabin out here for the girl, and you and little Eli can stay right in here. No. Thanks all the same, but I'll be going. I, I wouldn't want to cause no trouble in a family. You can't go, Hannah. We'll all go. Eli, please. I would. Stay the night. Ah, that's sensible. Sophie, show her to her cabin. I can find my own way. Hannah. We don't have to stay. Zach's my brother. I'll stay the night. And then I'll go to work. Work? Where? The tavern. He said he could use me. I don't cotton to the man. We'll go right now. Where, Eli? Unless you work for your brother, what'll you do for Texas money? I'll find something. Come to your senses, Eli. Between the two of us, both of us working, we ought to be able to save up steamboat fare for you and little Eli. Your pappy will never get to Texas unless he uses his head. Good night now. So he spent his Texas money. He can earn more. Ah, but not in time, not before the steamboat sails. I'll let him fish for mussels. I'll have him help me around the warehouse. 
But he can't make enough, and we're not going to tell him, you understand? I know that. I know what's best for him. I'll make a businessman out of him. You leave it to me. I'll work the buckskin out of him and off of him both. He's my little brother. steamboat gets here, Paul. I figured it'd be big enough to see. <laughs> but what if it's night? <laughs> Most steamboats got a whistle. We'll keep an ear out for the whistle, huh? Oh. Paul, look. Well, I declare. Looks like a pearl. Must be a pearl. I just wonder. But is it ours? Do we have to tell Uncle Zack? He bargained for the shells, that's all. And seeing he's so keen to make a businessman out of me. And in this bottle, ladies and gentlemen, in this bottle is the very reptile that changed the course of history 2,000 years ago. Yes, this very reptile, the most poisonous serpent known to man. One nip from this fellow, and the gates of eternity open. I was traveling in Egypt. Not now, sir. You, sir. In good time, I shall offer to the public my secret herbal elixir, the certain cure for aches and shakes, for languishment of the limbs and troubles of the trunk. But let us not descend to commerce until my story is done, and I'll thank you not to interrupt. I was traveling in old Egypt, and I befriended an ancient wise man, dead now, bless his bones. And with his dying breath, he told me that this was the very asp that Cleopatra clutched so closely to her bosom. One stroke, two, and she was dead. That haughty queen, that divinity of form, that perfect pearl of pulchritude. He's a windman, but high educated, mighty high. And now, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> refined and scientificated through the ages, has come to us as by a miracle, a medicine, a balm, to make your aching joints as supple as a serpent's. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. What'll it be? I just wanted to tell this gentleman how pretty his talk was. I sure admired it. Well, thank you, sir. I spoke the simple truth. That part about the pearl. The perfect pearl of pulchritude. Meaning beauty, of course. Uh-huh. It put me in mind of a freshwater pearl I, I know about. A freshwater pearl? From a mussel, I guess it was. I don't understand you. Well, you see, it's a... Uh, it's a friend of mine's got it. Lives over at Prideville, a young side of there. Proceed, sir. It may be that I know the man. Well, naturally, my travels have taken me far and wide. He says it's big as a pigeon egg, and he wants to trade it off. Did you ever see a pearl that size, fresh or salt? Never will. But when I do, I'll bid on it myself. You? Why not? I like pearls. Why not, indeed? Do you manufacture money here in this humble hostelry? Some. At least I don't sell medicine. An insulting remark, my friend. But I'll forgive you for it, remembering as the Bard of Avon said so well that the quality of mercy is not strained. 
You're so smart, tell us poor folks who's going to outbid me. Jimmy Monroe, that's all. Who? James Monroe, President of these United States, resident in Washington, District of Columbia. To my certain knowledge, Jimmy's the biggest collector of freshwater pearls in the world, barring only the crowned heads of Europe. Well, you have been around, haven't you? Around enough, sir, not to butt into others' conversation. I was talking to this gentleman. That's all I wanted to know. Thanks, mister. I'll get word to my friend. You're welcome. Oh, and, uh, good fortune to him. I didn't know the... Fresh water pearls was worth anything. And not your fool. Fletcher stuffed them like a sausage. Muscle. Muscle. And Boys, please, the cotton is here. Come in. We better get down. I'm stumped anyhow. Brother Eli. How do you do? Pleased to meet you, Miss. And this is little Eli. I'm glad to meet you. And this is Pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Susie's our school teacher. Sit down, y'all. Hey. Come on, Pharaoh. I imagine I'll be seeing a great deal of you, little Eli. What grade will you be in? We didn't aim to. We're bound for Texas, Miss. Oh? Oh, heavens to Betsy. It'll be on any shape. <coughs> then you've been to Texas before. No, ma'am. That's our reason for going. To where we ain't ever been. Eli has the itchy foot. Don't know the medicine for it. Stop scratching. <laughs> you don't think you'll like it here? I've been telling Elias that that boy ought to learn his letters. Well, I'm sure his father knows what's best for little Eli. Miss Susie's top notch in everything. Can you spell muscle? M U S C L E. Not that kind. They've been fishing for them. Oh, M-U-S-S-E-L. Susie's playing with the backwoods tonight. He goes for pearls, sure enough. Huh? <laughs> I was only funning. So was I. Anna! Yes? Anna, dig out a bottle of my best wine.
blossom up a gum tree, raccoon on the ground. Take your little darling Yee-hoo! and whirl around and round. I wish I was an apple a hanging on a tree, and every day my love would take a big bite out of me. A big bite out of me. Come on, Sophie. Chase that rabbit. Chase that squirrel. Chase that pretty girl round the world. Toss them up a gum tree, raccoon on the ground. Take your little darling and whirl her round and round. I wish I had a needle as fine as I could sew. I'd sew my darling to my coat and down the street I'd go. Down the street I'd go. Roast beef when I'm hungry, cider when I'm dry, greenbacks when I'm hard up, religion when I die, religion when I die. Up the river and round the bend, be good to your girl, you should go to your friend. Circle of partner, corner of your dress, all joint hands the way to the west. Pass him up a gum tree, raccoon on the ground. Take your little darling and whirl around and round, 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 whirl around and round. <laughs> That's small music. Calls for more. Take a little Irish with Susie. Play hold that barman down. Oh no, Zach. Play my darling. Pass your time to bed down. Looks like you got your powder wet. You and that school teacher. Is that what's tormenting you? Hannah's better than her. Me and you and Hannah. That's what we've been figuring. We spent all our money for her. Whoa, son. I didn't say nothing against Hannah. We're beholden to her. You can write the letter then so as we can all get to Texas? You ain't even going to write. Why, of course I'm going to write, boy. Muscle. Like you paid some mind to that school teacher after all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
You reckon we'll get enough? Enough for the three of us, Pa? Well, that's hard telling, son. But we'll leave it to the president. The president wouldn't cheat a man. That's right, Pa. I swear, that letter writing came hard. No wonder they say a man ought to have an education. You're too old to go to school, Pa. I wasn't thinking of myself. Harry Milton. Haggard, Lester Haggard. And Mr. Boldine, here's another one for you, Stan. That's all, gents. Now, what's going out? Six cents. Seven cents. Where's your change? Oh. Hannah, we just about got our Texas money back. Eleven cents. Well, be. Mr. President James Monroe of these United States of America. What are you sending to President? A wooden nutmeg? How much? Four bits and cheap at that. It ain't every day I get a letter to the president. <laughs> Guess little Eli couldn't wait. Tell her, Pa. Well, the egg ain't hatched yet, but we sure got a hen set. <laughs> Don't you know that freshwater pearls ain't worth a dime? <laughs> me like a catfish. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. Didn't you say you'd been around Prideville once? That I have, sir, though not too recently. It's off the beaten track, as you well know. Ever hear the name Wakefield there? Wakefield? Uh-huh. Wakefield. 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 Yes, it's coming to me. That bitter verse about the feud and families. Ah, sir. Weep you widows and lone homes. When a Wakefield meets a Frohn's. I'm a Wakefield. And I'll show you what Wakefields pay for pearls. Eli, don't! Hitting a poor scholar isn't going to cure your ignorance, my friend. Get wise. Get educated, Wakefield. There. Haven't you made fool enough of yourself for one day? Ashamed of all of you. A newcomer, a stranger, his first day in school. We'll cut the playtime short. Now get inside. March! You all right, little Eli? Part of the leaf is called wrapper. 
Used for the finest chewing plug. And the lug here is good only for cheap pipe tobacco. You'll catch on to the difference in grades. Takes a little time. It comes hard, Zack. But I've been trying to say all morning. I'm obliged to you. Obliged? For what? For keeping me from being a double fool. That snake doctor hit it on the head. Oh, forget it. Takes a spell for a man to come to himself. Sure, they mortified you. Just you keep your powder dry. Our time to shoot will come. You really suppose a man like me could fit in? Fit in? Why, brother. And as for the boy, don't you worry. Just where he ought to be. I wouldn't like to tell your parents how you've behaved today. Luke. Luke Lester. All right, honey, it's better. Eli. Eli, wait for you. You'll never get anywhere looking out the window. I'm off. So am I. Did you have to fight your way out? I'm gonna make him little of Pa. Be learning how to buy tobacco. Don't fault your Pa. It's for Texas. He promised. You heard him promise. For Hugo, you and your Pa will. Will we, Hannah? Sure. Can you come too? Not yet a while, I reckon. But you two gotta go. Somehow. Tuesday Babson, and 
I'm going to Texas. And I'm not going alone. People with brave hearts, ambitious hands, and a feel of distance in their bones are going with me. We're going to that rich Spanish land where the late great Moses Austin won a grant for mettlesome Americans. We'll steam to New Orleans, harness up, and saddle up for Texas. Many have already signed. There's room for more. That's why I am here. What's wrong with old King Duck? It's a fine land. If it suits you, stay. But pot liquor for the goose sometimes gags the gander. You don't measure land in Texas by rod and chain. You measure with the eye. And when the eye can see no further, that's where you drive your stakes. The rifle ball has not been made that can carry to a neighbor's line. And game, I tell you by the book, mine own eyes have seen a sea of buffalo that took from sunup to sundown to pass. Is your question answered, friend? <laughs> but there is no great hurry, ladies and gentlemen. The ship will wait the sale of your tobacco. Meanwhile, we will cruise the river hereabouts so that you may judge our vessel. And I will circulate far and wide among you. And now, my friends, if any would care to examine our ship, come aboard. Welcome. Hey, you're supposed to be in school. I thought you was buying tobacco. <laughs> Where'd you get that china? It don't matter, Pa. Folks here. Upset, I hear, about school. You can't blame her. You got to excuse little Eli. He ain't a man yet. No. He ain't a man yet. Zach, and I hate Aunt Sophie, and I hate humility, and everything. Hold on, son. Zach and Sophie are different from us, but they mean good. They got their side. You gonna earn enough money for Texas? That black eye makes you cantankerous. You don't ever take me hunting anymore. You won't hardly see me at all with me in school and you working. All right, son, I'll tell you what. Miss Susie's got an apology coming for you breaking up school and all. When she's peacified, we'll go hunting one night real soon. It's a go. Would you excuse me, Stan? Yes, I'll see you tonight. Yes, Stan. Good morning, Susie. <laughs> Did you have something to say to Miss Susie? I thought you was going to say it. Well, that ain't the way I understood the deal. I'm... 
Pop says you gotta excuse me because I ain't a man yet. But I will be a man when I can blow the Gabriel horn. I'm sure you will. Now run along to class, little lady. He won't tell me how he got that black eye. And he's always told me everything before. Then I'm afraid I can't. It was over me. You know, of course, about the pearl. If only what the children were yelling. Town ain't easy for a hunter. And he's got hunter's blood in him. I can tell you this much. He didn't run. He met his trouble in the only way he knew. You can be proud of him. I'd like to know you both better. Can't you come to supper one night next week? I suppose. Why, yes. Thanks, miss. Thursday, then? Sure. Body to stand on. Mad old man. I guess I'll never be grown up. <laughs> you will. You'll blow it one day. Now listen. Ain't always we can listen. Hello, the fire! It's Hannah, boss! I know your boy. You can't fool me on Pharaoh either. Come rest a while and listen. Where'd you come from, Hannah? Mondays and Thursdays, I do chores at the still house yonder. Pharaoh's singing sweet as pie tonight. Yep, he sure is. Thursday. Today. Well, what's wrong, Pa? Give me the horn, son. We got to go. But, Pa, you ain't even talked to Hannah yet. I know, but we got to blow the dog in, boy. Hannah says we got to go to Texas no matter what. I got your Texas money for you. Hannah. Hannah. How? I got it hid away for you. How? It's honest. That's enough. Bodine. By selling yourself back as a bound girl. Just say I draw the head. Bodine. They're making sport of you in the town. Them that don't stand knee high to you. Being laughed at don't kill a man. Just give me time. If the laughing don't kill you, the lingering will. Maybe so and maybe not. But you give that money back, here. Yeah? It's on paper. Legal like. Get the paper then. Eli, some are born to stand still. And some are born to run. Like a hound is born to run. Can't you see that Texas is the fox for you? I'm through with running. Come on, boy. Well, why are you mad at Hannah for, Pa? Look, 
We're much obliged. More than I can say. Eli, you're playing the fool. Let me be my own kind of fool, then. Let's go, boy. Yes, Mother. Did the company come, Susan? No, Mother. My back has started hurting. Couldn't you come and talk to me? After a while? We forgot. That's all. We plum forgot. You just forgot. It was a prime night for hunting. I promised Lily I I'd take him out first good chance we had. And here comes up a prime night. It's nice to know you went fishing for pearls. Good night. I can't blame you for making some more to me. But it was because Lil Eli, he, he apologized so good for breaking up school and all. And that's why I promised I'd take him out. We know little Eli and me was living free in the woods, shooting our meals and following foxes. It's habit like with us and hard to bust. And maybe it shouldn't be busted. Eli, come back. <laughs> Nicest apology I ever heard. Come in, we'll eat our supper cold. I'm obliged. I messed things up, I reckon. Like it was in my mind to ask you if I hadn't been so late. Would you play for me again? Ask them. Oh, Eli. Big Eli Wakefield. Eli, Eli. Joe Emery. Here. Brown, Mr. Clay Brown. Here. Postlewaite, John Postlewaite. Zybe Fletcher. Zybe Fletcher. Zybe Fletcher. Wakefield, Zach Wakefield. I'm taking it. Well, if it ain't Mr. President Pearl himself. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, Ants Morgan. Here. Wakefield, Elias Wakefield. The president, the president of these United States. About time he answered. Better late than never. Looks like money, too. Come on, son. I never would have believed it. A letter from the president. I never would have believed it. Now we'll see. Elias? Right, Eli? Zach? I've got to send you to Pekin tomorrow. 
The tobacco season's on us, and I need cash from the bank. All right, Zach. We'll talk about it at supper, huh? Tell you what. Ride that new River Queen back. It'll be your first trip up the Tennessee. Can I go too, Pa? Sure, I'll, I'll fix it up with Miss Susie about school. That all, Zach? Well, you're going to be a big crowd to welcome her, being there's her first trip up. Being you're in business now, you need some new clothes. I'll advance the money. That's right, nice, Zach. Thanks. Just be careful of those river gamblers. They'll pick you clean. <laughs> Dear Mr. Wakefield, the president regrets to advise you that he is not a collector of pearls. Furthermore, fresh water pearls have no known commercial value. The president has suggested that I ain't even from the president, just from his hired man. Better not let on about this letter, little Eli. I overdone my fun, so poked my paw in the bear trap. Now I got to show some money. Got to think like your Uncle Zack. A nip or two, and now and then a friendly little game. That, sir, is the life for a gentleman. You will agree? Sure do. A fair square game, gents. Where she stops, nobody knows. No bets too big and none too small. Welcome each one and welcome all. I, uh, I think I shall try my luck. Would you care to watch? Well, all right. Black and odd, gents, the black 17. Oh, oh me again. And I bet on 17 last Every time. roll, a chance at fortune, a winner every turn. Then spin it, man, while I'm riding high. Get your bets down, this gent's in a lather. Uh, you do not mind, sir, if I bet modestly. None too big and none too small. None too short and none too tall, but shake a leg. Uh, how is it you play this game, anyhow? Even on black or red, same as odd and even. 35 to 1 by number, corners pay you 8. Half a number, 17. A fair square game. Uh, if I can help you, sir. Well, uh, uh, maybe I ought to find out first if luck is touching. A wise decision always. Ride with the flood, lie low on the ebb. That's down, please. My bones say black. I shall place my small pile on it. Black, my favorite color. Black, then. Black it is, black and even. You win, man. You won, Pa. Everybody wins but the man with the bag. Delighted that you rode my winner, sir. Place your money, man. Now, uh, what would you advise? The trouble with me is that when I get to gambling, I don't know where to stop. But uh, maybe I should go small again before I ride the flood, huh? Do we play or palaver, you gamblers? Name it, friend. I'll go along. Well, if I, if I could just catch a number. 
and I'd sure enough know my luck was in. A number? Yes, ma'am. Th then I'd know. Oh, I, uh, I wouldn't let myself be nibbled to death, friend. With your luck, monsieur, strike hard. Please, gents. Nope. I'm going to test her once again. We'll bet you eight, son. Four dollars on nine. We'll double it. Ah! As you please. Against my judgment, I'll stay with you. Nine wins, the red win. Pa, I won! I won, Pa, nine won! Well, my friend, with luck like that... It will be you who will break the bag, huh? We won, Pa, don't you see? Two hundred and eighty dollars gold. Pa! That's down, gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks, gents. Sorry to leave. But if I ain't mistaken, we're coming to humility. That's where me and my boy get off. Hold on, my man. Oh, but monsieur, with luck upon you in the bag of gold, you... Oh, oh, that ain't gambling money. I never meant to risk it. How'd you ever get such an idea, anyhow? Hey there, pilot! Don't stop at humility! Good day, gents. Congratulations, sir. You gave me a barrel's worth of entertainment on that boat. Uh, may I buy a drink, gentlemen? I'm sorry. We're late for supper as is. Sophie will be put out if we hold her up. Another time, then. Sure. Gentlemen, um, a toast to the President of these United States. To the President of the United States. You have these jokes and it's looking for pearls themselves. Fletcher. Here's something by way of commission. Buy yourself a new snake. The one you got must be awful tired of biting Cleopatra. <laughs> Chicken's coming home to roost, eh, Stan? <laughs> <laughs> 
He's sure a smart fellow, that Eli Wakefield. You gotta take your hat off to him. <laughs> He's the last one I was his. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say, boys? Let's go find him. Way down yonder in the pop-pop patch. Picking up pop-pop. Put him in your pocket. Picking up pop-pop. Picking up pop-pop. Picking up pop-pop. Picking up Way down yonder in the pop-pop patch. Leave him there, Eli. But Aunt Sophie, no buts about it. He has to learn same as you. quite a place for himself here. Who dash? Who dash to crack a whip with me? My mammy was a gator and my pappy was a bull. I could whoop my weight in wildcats and drink my belly full. <laughs> Who dash? Find a theme for me. Step up or shut up, folks. We're loaded for bear. You better track for home, son. The wake field over there. I know it. And you're not scared? Listen. Cry, you young'uns. Cry, sweethearts, when the feudin' shootin' starts. And weep, you widows, in lone homes. When a wakefield meets a... What's your name, fighting man? Luke. Don't say I didn't tell you, Luke. I'm not afraid of him. Well, I'm not saying you're scared, son. Of course, there might be some that say you are. Ah, you can walk away. Let folks say what they please. Wakefield, you don't want to whoop this boy, do you? I ain't got nothing against him. See, Luke? He doesn't want to whoop you. Oh, Dean. Mind the business, Hannah. I'll keep the peace here. If I can hold this wild man back. Oh, Stan, why don't you stop it? Try it to, can't you see that, folks? Don't dare him, Luke. I dare you. I double dare you. One minute is spare. Hey. You have 
with Jody, honey. I figured it'd be better if you and me both told her. Wakefield, you better come. Once you've gone too far. I go where I please, Wakefield. Wakefield, or do I skin you bare? Next time, Wakefield, I go for the eyes.
well, son. I, I just wanted the three of us to, to sort of talk things over. You see, me and Susie, we're going to get married. And she'll be a mother for you. And a good one, too. Won't you, Susie? I'll surely try. We're thinking of you, too, boy. Both of us are. There'll be a home for you, little Eli. A real home with a roof over your head. And boys and girls to play with. And school. We'll have lots of fun. North Texas? Son, we, we have to say goodbye to some things. There was good things in their time. But the way I see it, their times wore out for us. You let them tie Pharaoh up. You made me leave him tied up. We're getting them used to it. And you've been lying to me. You've been lying all along. You never used to lie. Not till we came here, you didn't. I, I just been trying to see my way. I never thought I'd hate you, Pa. Little Eli. Not that, son. Forget you said it. You can't be meaning it. I'm trying to be a right father to you. I'm trying to think what kind of man you'll grow up to be. What kind of a man are you coming to be? That's the worst of all. <laughs> You talk cruel, son. But even if you was right about Texas, I'd give my word to Zach and to Susie here. You gave your word before. Oh, please believe in your father. In all our lives, son, I don't know as I ever told you you had to do anything. We got along good, you and me. And I pray God will be so again. But now I want you to take this horn out and lose it. Throw it away. Pitch it where we'll never find it. So it won't be in our minds to blow it. The way to start off new is to shuck off what's old. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes he'll love you, and me too, again.
that girl. The one who works for Bodine. Hannah? She caught the whip. She rolled the wagon right on top of it. Hannah did? I stood there helpless. Hannah did? Well, I'll swear. Eli, you're free any time you want to be. Why, if it, if it came to that, you could come to Texas with us. With hands for a piano forte? With an invalid mother? Oh, oh, Eli. Sometimes people can ruin what they love. I declare, a late visitor. Just by accident, son, we entertaining some old friends of yours. They just happen to drop in, too. master, a small favor for my friend Bodine. Have you seen little Eli? No, sir. The young gentleman does not habituate our grog shop. Wakefield, I have a place to go. You mind if I walk along with you? It's a piece. Let's go. As for the money, you don't need it. Come as my lieutenant. I want you. You can sell this little Eli in school and all that. Man, man, I know. People have to make choices. Choices never are perfect. Uh, it'll be rough in Texas. 
It'll be hard. Maybe your son never will be a scholar. But he'd be something a whole lot better, I'd say, for him. Something truer to himself. And you'll both have a life you'll never have here. What's important to your son? You. You, first of all. You doing the things you were cut out to do. The things God created you to do. Not you imitating your brother. Zach's all right. In his way. But the Zacks of this world build businesses. Men like you could build countries, if you only will. Wakefield, call it none of my business, but how does your boy feel? There's two of them. Offer, poop and a holler. Texas man, Babson. That's your meat. Mine? You heard him. We come for Wakefield. Get him away or kill him. One or t'other. Oh, look, friends, I'm a businessman. I've got a reputation. Get your gun. Goes to show you about me, it isn't even loaded. Loaded. I can't afford to get loaded now. to do your own killing. I told you where he was. That was my pot. Cattle and turn tail, that's you. Now, are you with us? Or against us? I'm staying here. Today, the thing is over. It's your life to live, Wakefield. I believe in living it bold. All right, Wakefield. Get away, Texas, if you know what's good for you. What's this? Get away, Babson. Move on, Texas. This man is unarmed. Get away like they told you. Run, we said. Run, they said.
to anything. You're safe, Pa. And I'm ashamed. I ain't so proud, son. Not of myself. No, Hannah. Don't leave us. We're going to Texas. We're going to live it bold. Mm -hmm.